But will there be a squirrel girl? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, we are Stars yeah. Random. Today we are seeing Miss Marvel right Disney Plus. <laughs> and Miss Marvel. I like how he thinks I'm not paying attention to what he's doing over here. Off your phone! You're the one who wanted to watch all the trailers! I know, and I'm ready! No, you're not! Yes, I am! You're on your phone! I'm not worried. Max! Oh, oh yeah. I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm only getting cool. the one, though. But I'm hoping it's reaction window. Yeah, really. Okay, we're ready. Not. So unprofessional, right, Clara? Yep. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. I'm sorry for them. Because once it gets to a certain point... We started watching comic stop. book trailers, and they're all like, we're going to stop watching and paying attention and look at comic book covers of what's coming out next week. That's because Endless Winter has some really good ones. Justice League Dark is officially... And also because this is actually one. related to what we're watching. Yeah. But I'm people, the trailer, not phone. God. Well, it's not my fault they don't make trailers for comic Marvel books. is a new kind of superhero. <laughs> but at the core of all of it, has joy so universal. Miss Marvel's one of the newer characters in the Marvel comics. And when one comes in, it grabs so the is the real trailer. like this. And the questions are, when are we going to bring Miss Marvel to the Well, screen? they announced who she when is. When Marvel first came out, we had such an incredible reaction. It was so incredibly popular because everybody could see themselves in her. I never saw a young teenager of color, specifically a Pakistani, in a comic book. Are you kidding? I promise you'd be cool. I am cool. The casting process was vast. When we discovered Iman, we knew that she was Kamala Khan. It was unanimous decision. Yeah, I keep not bringing this right now. And of course, we've got a really incredible team of directors, Bilal Falah, Adel Al Arbi, Mira Menon, and Sharmin Obeid Chinoy. And all of them are taking the material and elevating it. So human, it's about a teenager figuring out who she is and about relationships. Family and friendship is at the heart of the MCU canon. That's what's so exciting about this joy that we're bringing is that we're going to introduce you to a new family that's also going to be part of the wider MCU. But will there be a squirrel girl? <laughs> I'm sorry. Nope. Y'all knew I had to say it. No. What is that? Why are you starting that? I <laughs> didn't. It's because playlists are playing and listing. Well, oh, well, I didn't know that could happen. So what do you think? Cool. I think Clara, when yeah. she gets past some of the other comics she's already into, I think she'd like Miss Marvel. Yeah, I think so. I feel too. like she could read it. I don't know a ton about Miss Marvel beyond, but I know it's written for younger adults too. I know that she's a so big fan. I know it's fan. not going to be as traumatizing as some of ours. I know I, she's a big fan of Captain Marvel, which is why she takes the name Miss Marvel. I think she's going to be tied into the new Captain Marvel. I thought, or Anything. Captain Marvel's going to be tied into this. Yeah. Someone's crossing over. I would assume Captain Marvel will at least appear in this because. I don't know a ton about Miss Marvel. Like I think she has a, she's like a stretching kind of expanding power, right? Like her hands yeah. and arms, everything get big. Yeah. Um, I know that she is supposed to be a big fan of Captain Marvel. Like it's like that's her personal hero, and then so she takes the name Miss Marvel. So I assume that'd be a great chance to have Captain Marvel show up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure out. they said that there's going to be some crossover. And Squirrel Girl is just Squirrel Girl. I mean, everyone's scared of Squirrel Girl. Thanos is one thing to fight with Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I don't want to fight Squirrel Girl. No, yeah, I think she would like... That's like a joke. Like, <laughs> I think she'd like Miss Marvel. Yeah. I have a soap to say. Dog wanted to like get Deadpool Squirrel it. Girl. Get it because... The dog would want to get Squirrel Girl? girl? Probably. Hmm? Because well, it's a squirrel. The joke about Squirrel Girl is that she just has the powers of a squirrel. Like Spider Man, Power of Spider. So she can climb trees, <laughs> she can jump pretty far, she's a little bit stronger, she's got the big fluffy <laughs> tail, and she can talk to squirrels. So she's not really supposed to be that great of a superhero, but she's like she's beaten everyone. Like so Doctor Doom, Thanos, everyone just sees her and they're like apparently Doctor Doom legitimately, I read somewhere, like sees her and he's like, No, no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm I got I've had to go like when Loki saw the Hulk. In Ragnarok, <laughs> that's Doctor Doom when he sees Squirrel Girl. It's like, no, I am out. Yeah. So. I was gonna say she could probably reach Strange Academy because it's 
kids going to Doctor Strange's school, but I saw Scrogo no. I grew As like, I'm like thinking you, about it, I'm like, yeah, no, that's no that's not a good idea. And her part of her I name is I have Scroll. anything I don't think I have anything that she'd actually be able to read, to be honest. I mean I have a couple things, but yeah, no. No. I don't know anything for her to read. So, thoughts about this? I mean, it wasn't the trailer like I was expecting it to be. No, but I'm excited that about uh, the actress they chose. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Who they chose. I think she's going to do well. Yeah, I I'm agree. I'm excited to see it. I know Clara will like it. So, because we did watch the little bit of, like, Spider-Gwen with Squirrel Girl and Miss Marvel and all that. We did watch those, the cartoons. Yeah. Maybe. And she, well, she would probably like... She likes Stargirl a lot. Yeah, she so. did. So she'll probably like this one. This one's So that'll be nice. It's, it's nice She's when we can include her in around. the DC and Marvel shows. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Because we've had so many that we've watched and she can't or she hasn't. But a lot more leaning towards she can't. Like Legends of Tomorrow, it'll have like hit or miss. Either the episode will have like moments where you're like, oh yeah, she could watch. Oh, I no. I uh, no, no, she couldn't have watched that. So, you know, it's kind of hard to, like, include her in some of those things. So it would be nice to have something else that she can be included in. Yeah. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Maybe well. then she'll finally start reading some of my comics. If you like our content, you know. like, comment, you know. subscribe. We have a Twitter, we have a Facebook, and we'll see you guys next time.